welcome but this video I would like to show you rotational vibration in oxygen first of all what is rotational vibration it is the RPM deviation during one revolution of a drive shaft example and what causes this one for example this is caused by the, the torque deviation uh, on that particular shaft what could cause a torque deviation think about the combustion engine in your car there is there you have for example four cylinders the cylinders are uh, fired in different uh, uh, orders and so the torque is distributed over uh, two uh, revolutions uh, this rpm deviation during one revolution we would like to observe and this is called rotational vibration that we can uh, measure this one okay we need a special sensors these are these CDM CDM and trigger sensors or encoders um, these uh, sensors they need uh, at least several pulses per revolution so that we could measure the RPM change or deviation during one uh, revolution a, a Tacho pulse a Tacho sensor we cannot use because a Tacho sensor typically has one pulse per revolution and we will get out the average during one revolution but in this case we want to observe the RPM deviation uh, during one revolution uh, inside the inside the oxygen we can handle both so this is the typical motor so we have the CDM and the CDM and trigger if there is only CDM and trigger to get the angle we have a software reset to when there is a, a real trigger pulse available on the sensor uh, we have the also the hardware zero pulse and applications further applications is uh, order tracking and basic uh, RPM measurement in case uh, encoder is used we have the a B and Z track here also the, the angle could count up and down and we also get the indication of the running direction so the the speed of the of the is indicated by positive or negative uh, uh, sign another sensor to mount is a is a black and white disc this could be also mounted it is very easy to mount and this this will also deliver uh, several pulses per revolution so that we can investigate rotational vibration but now you could already see or during my presentation you could see here on the lower corner there is a is my device under test a, a drive shaft where an encoder is, is mounted and we could see it is actually running with 900 rpm I will decrease a little bit the rpm and let's have a look you could see here on the channel list on the counter input I get my angle and my speed speed is what we will show here in the in the the measurement but let's have a short look to the to the setup here in the setup at the at the counter I go to the counter setting we could see here on the left side the the the, the input channel so we have a uh, free programmable thresholds when you use other uh, sensors this is related to uh, rotation so we get 1800 pulses per revolution and we have the uh, we have uh, the a input and we use the real hardware reset with the set input so we get here the absolute angle from 0 to 360 degree so this is the basic counter setting the, the channel what we get out is here the angle from 0 to 360 and the speed the speed is what we will go and use for the rotational vibration measurement let's now go to the to the measurement I will now start storing and I will do a, a run up and you we could already see now that here around 2000 uh, 200 rpm this the rpm on the upper we the green one is the speed uh, on the bottom we could see the rotational vibration we could see at a certain rpm it was 2000 rpm we get a kind of board line looks looks like noise but we will uh, in a minute in, in, do further investigation on this and we, we, we and like you can imagine uh, we would see here then the rotational vibration so let's do a quicker shot coast down 
and I will stay here at 700 RPM. I will now stop and zoom zoom out this this area. And when I now when we investigate this area where it looks noisy and we zoom in into this area, you can see both uh, recorders are linked so they zoom in the same time axis. We could see that here in this area we have a uh, oscillation so the RPM is deviating for almost 250 uh, RPM. So when I zoom out we could we could get this here. Here on, on the bottom uh, it is the rotational vibration so it is the filtered RPM deviation so we remove the, the DC component so this the static RPM in between and only show the the uh, rotational vibration which is the RPM deviation. When I have a, when I have a look here in this area we get the, the same picture. Also here in this area we have the the uh, oscillation available. Here to have a further look I will go to the to the next page here. I prepared uh, let's zoom out a little bit and let's investigate this area and we could see here uh, FFD, so when I go into uh, uh, to this area we could see a, a peak at 32 uh, Hertz. This equals to, to 1800 RPM uh, and this is also indicated in this in the in this uh, waterfall diagram which is uh, over written over time uh, that we have here this significant peak. So when I go now further into this area and we have here the complete FFD in the in this diagram we could see the the hot spot at this area which is related to this area at 10 second and we could see the second hot spot at, 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 at uh, coast down so we can zoom in into this area and check this in more detail so at this uh, measurement we could clearly see that we have some uh, problem with rotational vibration at the area of 1800 to 2000 rpm here the the, the drive shaft will is st starts to oscill oscillate and this will cause uh, in a noise vib vibration uh, this was a basic introduction uh, of the rotational vibration measurement. In the next video we will do a further investigation with the order tracking module uh, to, to, to get amplitude and phase and out of that we should see that this is a structural resonance of the drive shaft. Uh, but for this to say it clear we will do a, like mentioned a further investigation with the order tracking module. This was basic introduction to the rotational vibration. Thank you for your attention and see you at the next video.